Fortnite, a game which has swept the nation, is a role-playing game called an RPG where games of 100 players from around the world battled out by building forts and trying to eliminate other players to claim the coveted title number one victory royale. Sarah Napier, a junior at Northern Kentucky University, started streaming the game back in January of this year, who goes by the name of Sarah Please on Twitch TV. I've always wanted to stream ever since I played video games because I thought it was really cool that people did that. But I never did because back home I have really bad internet and I have really good internet here, so now I can. So it was just like a spur of the moment thing. I went out and bought like a second monitor and then just did it that day. Napier said she got her love for video games back in middle school and from there it really took off. I started playing video games when I was maybe in like middle school. I used to always watch my dad play video games, so he kind of is the one who got me started on it. And then... Um, I just started playing on my own when I was started getting older. To Napier, playing video games isn't just about trying to get as many wins as possible. It's about having fun and having that feeling that people like what you're doing. It's really fun because I like when people say, oh, like, I watch, I watch you stream, like, people that I know. And then just kind of like the random people that watch me, it's kind of cool that people actually want to sit there and watch me because I don't really find myself that entertaining. And I'm not that good at video games, so it's kind of... <laughs> Someone even went as far as to donate $300 to Napier during one of her streams. One time I was just sitting there and I had just died in Fortnite and someone donated me $300. And they said buy a PS4. I already have a PS4 so I was like, oh I already have one. Like I asked them if they wanted the money back and they were like, no, nah, just like put it towards your stream and make it something better. So I guess that was pretty huh. cool that someone like wanted to see me better, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Watching other players in the world stream has been something Napier has been doing for years now, looking up to the players to be like them. I used, back in the day, when I was in high school, I used to like, watch Nade Shot, because <laughs> I was really into Call of Duty. I watch Ninja now, because he's like the most popular, and everybody knows who he is now, so that's kind of something I look up to. Napier said she gets a lot of motivation from fellow Fortnite player Ninja, who is regarded as the best Fortnite player in the world, with a following of over 5 million on Twitch TV. Napier is also a member of the Delta Gamma sorority on campus. Finding the time to balance school, Greek life, and streaming has been challenging, but she is more than ready to take them on. It's kind of a hard, I'm still working out how to balance it. My streams are kind of like all over the place now, because um, when I first started, I was pretty consistent, but then I realized it was taking a lot away from like my schoolwork, and that needs to come first. So now it's come like, third to like everything else now so I don't do it as often as I used to when I first started but um hopefully in the summer it'll balance out it's kind of a hard thing to balance because this is what I like doing but like I need to do school <laughs> when it comes to streaming it is a field that is heavily populated by men Napier said it can be challenging to break that stereotype but tries to be herself the best way she can it's definitely like when people think about girl streamers there's a lot of girl streamers out there that definitely kind of like exploit it because they just want to get money from boys that just like but I don't really want it to be like that for me I guess so a lot of people see it as like oh people are just like throwing money at me which isn't really the case because I don't want that I kind of just want to play video games so that's kind of something that I face and um and a lot of people like will say like oh it's a lot easier on me because I am a girl I just kind of have my own personality I guess for it is what I didn't know I did but my friends that like they're like oh like you're actually like really like good at it like people actually want to watch you because it's entertaining because I think I'm funny but that's kind of how I break it I guess and um, I try to make it clear in my streams and stuff that I don't like when people like come in the chat and like hit on me because it does make mm -hmm. me feel awkward. Besides having fun and getting to be herself online, Napier says she is finally getting more comfortable streaming and being on camera as her experience grows. When I first started streaming, I was like kind of uncomfortable about it because I had never like sat in front of a camera and had people just like watch me play video games like that's not the thing like, that's something I've never done and now I think I definitely am a lot more relaxed about it and um, it was also something like I felt awkward when people like brought it up like oh like I saw your stream and I was like oh that's kind of weird but now it's kind of like oh that's really cool like I'm glad you watched it like that's now it's become like I don't know something that I'm more like comfortable with which I think is a good thing. From Lucky Landing to Anarchy Acres, from Snobby Shores to Lonely Lodge, Sarah Napier's adventures in Fortnite and streaming will continue through the rest of the school year and into the summer. For The Northerner, I'm Kevin Carey.